night, mate. Morning, mate. <laughs> okay, seven o'clock. We're hitting the road. Pick district. Here we come. Here we are at Hook's car car park, which wasn't easy to find. Today we're going to walk along Stanage Edge, exploring Robin Hood's cave, and we're going to do a loop coming back via uh, Bamford Edge. Uh, first time we've done the Peak District, we're normally walking the walls in Lincolnshire, so this is a new experience, and we'll keep you updated on the way with uh, key points. Uh, yeah. See you later. So this is the first part of the walk and straight away we're walking up towards the edge itself. This is Stanage Edge. Well there's certainly no defined straight nice footpath. It's all jagged edges, jagged rocks and we're not even half a mile into the walk. Okay, I think we found Robin Hood's cave, it won't power into the walk. Uh, looks like we go down here. Here's Steve bringing up the rear. If you get lower than that, mate, get your rucksack through. <laughs> now, this is what we came for. Robin Hood's cave, this is one of the Views we wanted to see on this walk, and uh, it ain't been too hard actually, has it? Speak for yourself. I'm still puffing and panting. <laughs> right, mate. The reason I want you to do that is yeah. because I know it's your birthday tomorrow. Uh -huh. Big five out. But I want to give you today up here. <laughs> And if you're wondering why I brought these cups, hey! Bit of Jack Daniels. Happy 50th, mate. Cheers. Well, we'll do, we'll do a proper cheers in a minute. We'll have a little shot just to warm us up. Hey, you're falling. <laughs> Happy 50th, mate. Cheers, mate. Morning. Morning, mate. Morning. Morning. Well, we're two miles into the walk. Feels like we've been going for quite a while. Uh, we're at High Neb, and we're just stopping for a little bit of a snack, a bit of a drink, catch our breath. Will's having his sandwich. BLT. And we're at a place we think we're at High Neb, which looks like that craggy outpost. So peaceful, a little bit of wind, can't knock the views. Where are we, Will? Somewhere on Stanage Edge, but we're not 100% sure where. But we can see Lady Bower Reservoir. Lady Bower's over there, what, what, what we've just shown you on the footage. And now we want to get across to Bamford Edge, but we don't know which way to go. So uh, when we decide which way we're going, we'll come back to you. So we've decided now we're going to walk down towards the A57, turn left. 
get towards the reservoir. We're at uh, Stanage Edge, end. Stanage End. Yeah, Stanage End, but Stanage End. Yeah. So a little change of plan. We got to Stanage End, started to go down, but immediately we've turned left and we're heading down now towards the reservoir, I believe. Hopefully. To, hopefully towards Bamford Edge. And then uh, we'll get onto Bamford Edge here. Anyway. Somehow. We'll get there. Cracking views. Rocky things. Worst comes to the worst is a pub at Lady Bowers. Oh yeah. And we've got a bottle of Jack in the back as well. Right, so we've taken a little bit of a cross-country detour. Uh, then if you can see right in the distance is that little peaky mountain volcano -y thing. We're following some sort of well-worn path. It could be by hikers, it could be by sheep. There are some people down there in the distance. We seem to know where they're going. So we're making the fatal mistake of following them. Yeah, so we've, we've, we've cut across where Will's pointing now and we can see some grouse butts and we're thinking that that little circular brick building there and there's some white posts and there's another circular bit brick building and some more white posts. We think we're on a, a bit of a winner now. So I think we think we know where we're going. Okay, so we're five miles in now. We've just had a little bit of a detour, but it got a bit wet, a bit boggy. To be truthful, I don't fully know where we are, do we? But looking like we're following a defined path past some grouse butts. So we'll check in a bit later. So we're back on track, back on track we think. Looks like we're at the top of the Lady Barra Reservoir. Nice and peaceful, a little bit windy. And to, the, to the right you can see Lady Bowers, which I'll show you in a minute. And to the left, or behind us, you can just see Stanley's Judge. Right in the distance. Where we've come from. Right up there. So if you can see this, you're still on track. And we're still alive. And if you've watched it, we made it back to the car. Anyway, there's Lady Bower. So hopefully you can see those people right in the distance on that craggy top. We think that's great tour. We're heading up there. We just admire the views for the moment. And we're still in the sights of Lady Bower, so we haven't gone that far. Not easy going, but not particularly difficult. So we made it up to Great Tour, took a few photos. There's Mam Tour right in the distance. Two hills there, it's the one on the left. And it's time for something to eat. So, food time. Right, we're seven and a bit miles into the walk now. That road there in the distance, we believe is where we're heading to, back to the car park. But we've got not much success of walking across these moors at the moment, so we're sticking to the path. Um, or is it stay on the road, stay off the moors? Stay off the moors, beware of the moon. <laughs> Looking for the slaughtered lamb. So we've made it down and we're now on a road. What do you reckon, Will, three or four miles? 
and it's Holland Road now back to the car park which is called which is called which is called it's coming it is coming <laughs> Hock Car Stick well, and it's yeah. hailstone in yeah. awesome I don't know what it is about the people around here, but no one wants to say good morning to you or hello. When me and Steve were walking in the in on the wolds, everyone says hello. Here, go hello, bro. Mm -hmm. That's if they say mm -hmm. it goes it gets. Right there in the distance you can see that rocky outcrop thing. I don't know. That's where the car park is, guys. And no sheep for three miles. Alright. When we started this video, see that behind me, we've walked all that. Look, oh, and that, we've done all that. Yeah, where are we? And right there in the distance, just to the edge of my finger, is Robin Hood's cave where we were a few hours ago, cracking open a bottle of Jack Daniels. We think that's the car park. We hope. Be pissed if it's not. So, we finally made it back to the car. I'll tell you how many miles we've done. Exactly 10 miles. I was 38. Oh, and my legs okay. are feeling it. Hope you enjoyed it, we enjoyed it. Wouldn't say for a minute it was easy, but very enjoyable. Not wheelchair friendly. No. Well, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching.